Welcome to Games from Folk Tales. This is not your episode for the week. It's a bonus episode. The Annual Report 2024. Time for summer. You're getting your annual report early this year because there are some changes coming because of the Anno Magica. For those of you not up to speed, Ars Magica is going to enter a new season later in the year when Atlas Games crowdfunds the definitive edition. As part of that project, parts of the Ars Magica system will be released under something like the Sharealike 4.0 license. That frees up all sorts of fan work from needing to seek permission before publication, and there are already stirrings as the ancient beasts wake. David Charts working on introductory material on Patreon, and the other Ars Magica podcast, Arcane Connection, has returned from Twilight over on Podomatic. I'm not an insider on this process. I usually know substantially less than those of you who, for example, attend the Grand Tribunal Convention, so book your tickets there. Here's what's happening to Games from Folktales. I've offered to pay some of the authors from the Ars Magica fan sphere to write articles for Games from Folktales. Please don't pitch me articles yet unless you're one of the authors I've contacted, but if you'd like to express interest, please do. In some cases, it will be more of a crossover situation where I record the audio and it lives on the Games from Folktales site and the written material lives on the other author's site. The nature of the experiment's complicated, but here's a summary. Games from Folktales currently works because it has a shoestring budget and I don't charge for my writing. Patreons chip in enough to keep the lights on, and the downside is that when I'm working on a bigger project, like the Maginomia Core Book or Venice, Games from Folktales sits on the back burner and sometimes goes silent for weeks at a time. By asking other authors aboard, some of that workload is shifted off to them. My hope is that Games from Folktales becomes a bit more like a fanzine. Most fanzines work on a subscription basis, and that doesn't seem possible under a share-alike license. The cost base of the podcast will be higher, so I'll be begging for money harder at the end of each episode. I know people hate that sort of thing, so I'll keep it short. Games from Folktales now has a simpler URL. It's gamesfromfolktales.com, which lets me direct people here more easily in other Ars Magica-related forums. It also removes the ads you used to see on the free site. Similarly, eventually, there'll be some sort of tip jar. The trial will be for two years, because that's the cheapest way to pay for hosting. Even if all of the authors write all of the stuff for this experiment, and I pay all of them and cover all of the new expenses, that is all still covered by the gap that opened up a couple of years ago between what the Patreons have been putting up and the cost of my hosting. So there's no chance it'll wreck everything. I can scale all of this back to the shoestring budget if this experiment fails. If you'd like to try this yourself, here are my numbers. The podcast host charges $5 USD a month, my web host charges $6 Australian a month, and my domain registrar charges $1.50 Australian a month. So that's roughly $15 Australian a month. The Patreons currently chip in $22 Australian a month, of which Patreon grabs just above $2. The payment for the articles, which is $35 American per article, is coming from the money that's been accruing due to that imbalance between the host cost and the Patreon import. I had been putting it aside to make a Kickstarter for Venice, but I don't think that's a viable route. Aside from some that I'm keeping for Venice cover art and for map making, this is how I'll be using it. At the moment, I operate using the permission granted by Atlas Games, in a couple of emails from before the podcast started. That explicitly includes their permission to make money from the podcast. Now, as I've said, I'm not an insider, but if I was Atlas, I'd be very tempted to say all previous permissions are superseded by the share-alike license. That would stop, for example, someone, you, from borrowing one of my monsters without attribution and then finding out that you'd put, in a copyright sense, a poison pill into your work but it makes the whole thing tidier if Atlas has all external creators using the same set of permission. That means I'll need to check the share-alike license to make sure that anything in process meets the new standard. For example, it may be that only 5th edition is covered, and that would mean rewrites in the Venice material because it references a 2nd edition book, Order of Hermes. Similarly, the Tremare name, which is a trademark that I presume is now owned by Paradox, might be off the table, and in that case, the huge dog that the Master of Games sends to, say, 
scathing, sarcastic things to player characters who have displeased him is going to have to change name. There is the question of what comes next. Until we see the license, it's best, in my opinion, for me to tidy up Venice and then focus on material that's useful to new people. Much of that doesn't make for good podcasting. As an example, we, as a community, really need to write a concordance of monsters which are within the license. But me reading that onto a podcast would essentially be me narrating an Excel spreadsheet. Games from Folktales will probably do something with the Cheshire and Devon material that I've collected, and that will probably click into the free Cornwall material and Bristol Channel material, which the community has put up in the past. Upcoming episodes that are already scripted or recorded include your usual monster of the month, four accounts of demons from English witch trials, and a series based on the ballads of Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. The first of the guest authors is Angela Black, whose thoughts on divine methods and powers is slated for publication on the 16th of May. Again, a special thanks to the Patreons for making all of this possible. Your saga may vary. Oh, I meant to put an ad in here now. I have a Patreon. Give me excessive amounts of money. Thank you very much. I should script that. Your saga may vary. <laughs>